So today, as you already know by the title of today's video, we are using the wonderful Takis to batter and cook our fish in today. But first, but first we gotta catch them. Let's see if and how we can make this work. Here we go. So today, yes, we are in fact going to attempt to fry fish in Takis. I don't know if this has been done anywhere else. I don't think it has been. If it has been and you're the one that did it and you're watching this, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to steal your idea. I was actually watching Spice King on TikTok and you know, he eats Takis like all the time. And I was like, I can fry fish in that potentially, maybe. There's a lady yelling at her dog across the lake. She's not very happy. So you might be wondering, what are we cooking today? in the Takis. Today we are going to try to catch some brim, some daggum, sunfish, panfish, copper nose, bluegill. If you don't know, bluegill have some of the whitest, cleanest tasting meat you can ever get out of a freshwater fish in my opinion. Of course I haven't had, you know, like what's it called, walleye or perch or anything like that. It's not quite as good as crappie, I'll say that. It's not quite as good as crappie, but it's pretty dang good. So today we're tying on little micro jigs, putting on little helgramite, maybug, plastic bait little thingies. It has turned into an absolutely beautiful day. This morning it was a little overcast, but it was still nice. Now the sun is just full blown out, baby, full blown out. The only problem Problem that we might have now is these baits are so small the wind is actually blowing against where we're going to be casting that might cause a little bit of an issue but I think we're gonna be okay one of the baits of choice today lunker hunt may bug if we can't get them on artificial which sometimes these fish in this pond are a little picky we do have some live bait options as backup I'm gonna try to get them on artificial just because a bluegill bite on artificial is super fun this is in a brown color I have some other little artificial so we're rigged up. We're only going to be taking our Daiwa set up out here today. One rob, one reel, where you at? And without further ado, let's go try to catch some fish because I'm hungry and I'm really excited to see how these Takis on the fish taste. I'm a little bit nervous because obviously I've never tried this. I love Takis, I love fish, but putting them together and putting them in a deep fryer, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little skeptical. Who knows, I might do this and it'd be absolutely delicious, but I guess we'll never know if we don't catch any fish, so let's go try it out. Well, well, not exactly what we wanted for the first fish, but it's a fish. Gotta start somewhere. At least we aren't skunked. We might not get a daggum brim, but we ain't skunked. That's all that matters, I reckon. See ya. Oh, well, it's a start. There's a fish. Okay, okay, okay. That's a gill. Calm it, buddy, calm it. Bada bing, bada boom, folks. First gill of the day. So what I did, I actually tipped this mayfly jig with a little bit of worm, and that is what this little friend wanted. Gulped it right up. We're not gonna keep this one. This one's a little bit small. I'd definitely keep them if I was like struggling, struggling, but I think we'll actually be able to get some fish today, so I'm not that worried about it. This little girl's gonna go back. See ya. So I've obviously located some fish. Now I've just got to focus on getting the size up. All right, now the goal is to see if we can get a bigger gill. My camera is all sorts of crooked right now. That's great. It's really cold right now. I was not expecting the temperature to drop this fast. There he is. Okay, that's a gill. Yes, sir. Still not exactly the size that I want, but I think I might keep this one because it's got a little bit bigger shoulders on it than the last one. There is numero uno of the ones we're gonna keep. Not exactly a huge gill, but it's a pretty thick fish. It's gonna have a lot of meat on it and I'm okay with keeping one this size. So we're gonna actually put her right here. Put this down here, get some water. Oh. All right, you're officially in there. Okay, one more brim and all this pain and suffering in the stinking daggum Arctic temperatures will be over. Just one more. That's all I need. If these daggum micro bass would just leave me alone. It's funny how some days you're so thankful to catch a fish that size and then other days you're just like, really? Because some days really do be hard like that. Oh, oh, that's a brim bite. Oh, and I blew that brim bite blew it i think he was small but were there small ones there might be big ones. okay okay got him 
Okay. Small brim, but we've located them. I think they're a little bit farther out in this corner. We still got a little bit of worm left. Let's see if we can get number two. That's all we need is number two. Come on, I'm tired of being cold. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, oh, big brim, big brim. Oh, giant Mondo brim. Oh, that is a bruiser. Look how big that guy is. I was actually considering not keeping this guy because I thought he might be good for the spawn, but he's pretty skinny. He's not exactly the healthiest looking bluegill ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and take him out since he's not just that, you know, wide shouldered beefy guy. He's big, but he's just not beefy. We're gonna fry him up. You two are going in the fryer. All right, well, we got the two brim that we were after. Mission accomplished part one. We gotta get back to the house, clean these fish up. We gotta get the Takis ready, which I really don't know how we're gonna do that. I'm excited, I really am. I don't know if I'm gonna do both in Takis or just one in Takis and one regular in case the Taki one is just like trash, but I guess we'll figure that out when we get back to the house. I'm gonna put these guys in the car, get everything loaded back up. Turn that heat her own full blast because I am so cold in shorts. That was a good decision. Oh yeah. And then we're going to get to cooking. As soon as we get these babies cleaned up, however we do it, we're going to get to cooking. So I will see you as soon as we get to the house. Gosh dang it. That camera has been sitting there for so long, completely fine. And the second I walk off, it just collapses. Okay, I think we got it. So sorry for probably giving you all motion sickness. All right, bluegill numero uno. I have really got to find out where I put my filet knife. Oh wait, we don't even need that right now because we are going to be frying this baby whole. We're gonna get a fork. A fork is a great scaling tool. We're just gonna scale this guy as cleanly as we can. Make sure you get his forehead. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at there, we're gonna wash it off real fast. Okay, so after a quick little douse of water, now all you wanna do is simply take your knife and run it from the forehead behind that gill all the way to the, the uh, anal fin. Turn around, do it to the other side. Just take the head off. Open that bad boy up right there. Take your head and your guts chunk it in the trash and then you just take your knife and give it a few little scores all up and down one more right there that's it that's all you gotta do crack an egg right on into that bowl just like so and take a little bit and i mean just a little bit of flour and sprinkle it on in there All right, so there's the egg wash. The moment you have all been waiting so patiently for. Takis. Just like so. Zip it on up. Mm, that's gotta be healthy for you. Take your Takis in your bag and just whack those babies with a spoon. That looks good enough, right? Okay. Taki powder. This is gonna be terrible. Whew. I was originally excited for this, but I just, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, all right, now that we've got our Taki uh, powder or Taki meal, that's what you wanna call it, ready. We've got our egg wash ready and we've got our fish ready. So now we're gonna plug in the grease, get it ripping hot, and I guess we're gonna fry some fish in some Takis. Ought to be interesting. Okay, so I've already tested one out and I found out that I needed to grind up the uh, Takis a little bit more and also add a flour base additionally to the egg wash. Try it out again and see if it works a little bit better than the big just chunked into the flour and then back into the egg wash. Okay, and now, oh yeah, into the Taki. Okay, let's get a little better light on that. I was originally gonna do this outside instead of inside and making my kitchen an absolute wreck. Unfortunately, it's freezing cold outside and I didn't wanna do that. Okay, that looks way better than that one. Okay, so the grease is hot. So we're gonna get this guy and we're going in. We're going in, baby. 
No way it's working. It's working. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's making my grease pink. That's a little scary. I feel like Takis are just not very good for you. We're just asking for clogged arteries here. Oh well. So we're just gonna wing it here, I guess. I feel like I do probably need to flip it. Oh yeah, oh gosh. Oh. Taki grease everywhere. Oh, that smells terrible. I don't know about this. This one might not be good, guys. It does have a nice crust though. So I guess, I guess that's good. That's scary how it turns the grease pink. I don't like that. Here's the second. Woo! Burn, baby, burn. Look at that. That's actually sort of pretty. Makes it look like Valentine's. It's a little more pink than I was expecting. And uh, yeah, first initial impression, that is a lot of crust for a little fish. Mm, and it smells really weird. Here's to hoping it's good. It's like my mind doesn't know what to think. I'm thinking that it should taste like fried fish, which it does, but at the same time, it's actually got like a little lime flavor from the Takis. That's really not bad. Like, that's not bad at all. I'm not gonna say it's the best thing I've ever had, because it's not, but... Why is that enjoyable? That's weird. I was not expecting it to taste like that. Okay, so one thing I was afraid of happening, uh, that the Takis were going to overpower the flavor of the fish by being so spicy, because Takis are relatively spicy, and there is a little bit of kick, but I think most of the spice actually got cooked out, and it left it with a little bit of spice, but mostly lime flavor that you get from Takis. It smells completely awful. Look at that. Perfect white meat. Like I said, a lot of crust for a little fish also. The meat's got a weird pink, like, smoke ring if you were to smoke a brisket, except it's fried and it's from Takis. That's so weird. Would I do this often? Probably not. Considering for two small brim to be breaded in the Takis, it took about half a bag, and a bag of Takis is not exactly cheap, so it wouldn't be something I'd do often. But if a friend comes over and it's like, Hey, I want to try something different. It's so weird. I wonder how it would be on a filet, like just a straight filet of fish. Not from McDonald's, but you know what I mean. I tell you what, if you want to see me cook another type of fish in Takis, let me know in the comments below because I will be so down to do this. Also, if you haven't done so already, hit the like button, smash that subscribe button, and click that little notification bell. Stick around and see what we fry next and some good old Takis. Thank you so much for watching today's video. This was really, really fun to make and Thank goodness it tastes good because that makes it a hundred times better. And that is going to be it for today's video. Again, if you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button. I hope every single one of you are having a great and fantastic day. And if you aren't, smile dadgummit. And I will be seeing you later, probably with some talkies. You know, Lake Fork guy calls his fish when he fries them golden crispies. I guess I get to call mine pink and slightly brown crispies. Yep.